Mr. Saleh, Muslim, there are uh, reports coming from uh, Kobane that ISIS has been uh, launching very fierce attacks against the people of the region. How is the situation there? Yes, uh, now all Kobane is surrounded uh, from three sides, and you know the from the north side is Turkish border. ISIS is attacking since the 15th of this month till now. It's five days. The attacks didn't stop till now, and uh, Uh, the people of Kobani are resisting. Many, many villages, about 20-25 villages, were uh, evacuated by these uh, brutals. And the people are all uh, in Kobani, and uh, they are trying to do uh, the second shangal. What they are doing is a massacre. We are afraid to be a massacre in the, against the humanitarian values in Kobani. So we need uh, the help of all pro-democracy, the pro-humanitarian values, Uh, the Kobani should be protected if they uh, really don't want uh, the Shanghai repeated again. So they should do something for Kobani now. The, I think the seconds and the, the hours are very important now because the attacks are very brutal and they are very hard on Kobani. Mr. Muslim, you're, uh, you're referring to the massacre ISIS committed against the Yazidi community in uh, Sinjar. You're worried that the second thing might repeat in Kobani. Uh, yes, because the Kobani is uh, surrounded from the three, uh, three sides. The attacks are from the three, uh, three sides. I mean, no help can, uh, can go from anywhere. And uh, even from Turkey, I mean, is, the border is uh, closed now, and uh, there are uh, the Kurdish people over there. Uh, there is no help going to those people. They cannot support them. Big regret is uh, the weapons are used, uh, most of them are American tanks which they gained from al-Musul, from the Iraqi army. Our weapons cannot do anything with those tanks. I mean, at least if there is somebody to can help those people who are defending their area by new weapons or by more, more weapons, so even the ammunition is going to be finished because they don't have sources, I mean, uh, supporting them. In Washington, D.C., the Senate approved the, the bill uh, last night to arm the Syrian rebels And uh, now debates going on in Washington, what to do in Syria. What do you, what is your appeal? What is your, what do you request from the lawmakers in Washington? Yeah, they are very late. They are very late. I mean, maybe they were think of it, but the, the situation in Kobani is very, very hard. So the people over there, as I said, I mean, the hours are, are very important. They cannot wait for days and days. Until now, they didn't support, of course. Uh, we are the Syrian rebels. We are uh, waiting for this aid, but nothing happened till now. What do you want to be done for Kurds in Syria that they are fighting ISIS right now? Those Kurdish, Kurdish community should be protected because they are defending the democracy. They have established the system in their areas. And they should be defended. Until now, nobody is defending them. Okay, if Kobani falls to ISIS, what happens? What the whole region? The world will spread out everywhere because this point, I mean, in Kobani... Uh, There is the most resistant in the Kobani. If, if this resistance is broken, so uh, you don't know what will happen. I mean, they reach to Turkey, they reach to everywhere. Uh, I don't know what will happen. I, I even I don't want to imagine that the fall of, of Kobani. Finally, very dangerous for everybody. I mean, Mr. Muslim, finally, the Kurds of Syria played a very a crucial role against the ISIS attacks against the Yazidi community in Sinjar in Iraq. So, uh, is there any help from Iraqi uh, Kurdistan regional government? Uh, no, till now we didn't receive anything. Even we called everybody, but nobody is moving to help us.